Hello and Namaste. My name is Suresh Basnet and welcome to the e-portal of Best Montessori Elementary School. And in today's topic, we will be discussing about the history of cartography. Cartography is the art of making maps. We already know that. So, uh, you know, the, the, make, the process of making map was never an easy task. In this topic, I will cover how maps, maps making and navigation have progressed over the time. I will go with the help of a timeline. When I say timeline, you have to understand that it means the sequence of events. And in this topic, I will be showing how slowly and gradually one by one, you know, the process of cartography or let's say making of map started. You all can imagine yourself how difficult it is to make a map. Just imagine you yourself in a place where is like where there are no maps about it or let's say no people know about that place is how would you feel how would you know the structure the area of that map how would you evaluate how how would you illustrate that area into a map obviously it would be very difficult yes but thanks to our ancestors they have done great in order to make you know this map in our hand in order to put that map in our hand now we have varieties we have different types of maps it all started in 6700 bce bce stands for before the common era or sometimes we can also say before christ all right it all started in the year sorry in 6700 bce Mostly, you know, in Europe and in Middle East Asia, the process of cartography started. If we look back at the history, yes, we will find that mainly this uh, the process of map making started in Middle East Asia and in Europe. Mainly European countries have high influence on this making of map. 6700 before the common era the map of cattle hook so this is actually a wall painting or uh, you know which was found in ankara turkey and it is supposed to be a settlement of 80 houses and a local mountain so this is supposed this is believed to be the first map now we have babylonian clay tablets which uh, babylonia babylonia at present it is in iraq okay so uh, this is a clay tablet which was found in uh, babylonia as you can see here and you know by comparing with this map with this illustration they found a map here in 600 bce pythagoras um, a, a mathematician you know he determined that earth is a sphere he gave the concept that earth is spherical in shape but it was in 350 bce that aristotle he settled the discussion he actually proved that earth is spherical in shape he took the idea of pythagoras and he proved that earth is spherical in shape in 200 BCE, Eratosthenes determined circumference of Earth, established, you know, he, he also established coordinate grid. So, grid, we already know, yes, it is a combination of uh, longitude and latitude. So, in, the, in 200 BCE, Eratosthenes, he determined circumference of Earth. Circumference of Earth means the, the area of Earth, all right. So he also determined the coordinate system. In 150 BCE, Hipparchus created early system of latitude based on the sun. With the passing of time, gradually, you know, from BCE, now we are here in AD, Anno Domini, all right? So 150 AD, Ptolemy creates world map with coordinates for 8,000 locations. Obviously, Ptolemy, you know, he was an astronomer. Uh, and actually with the help of those previous ideas by previous astronomers and mathematicians and mathematicians he you know he created world map with coordinates coordinates the combination of uh, longitude and latitudes for 8000 location 
there was this huge you know huge impact of roman empire mainly in europe all right so uh, after the fall of roman empire actually after this after uh, ptolemy created world map with coordinates for a thousand location after this you know discovery or let's say invention there was this fall of roman empire and after that you know there was a real progress in middle east asia actually the in arab world in the world of arab yes there was this real and more fruitful origin of uh, impact and origin of cartographic maps so we have now in arabic world from middle east okay al khwarizmi he produced world map partly based on ptolemy's work in 830 ad al khwarizmi produced world map yeah, and he took that idea from ptolemy definitely one important thing is that you know when uh, there was real progress in uh, middle east asia they definitely you know took idea from the european influence in 1030 ad al biruni develops triangulation so when the roman empire collapsed you know there was this dark ages in europe for uh, like for huge number of years but slowly and gradually you know there came a period of renaissance let's say rebirth of europe where in that period you know people became very creative i'm talking about the context of europe now okay so in after after that uh, collision of after collapse of roman empire yes there was a period of renaissance means the rebirth in europe and in that period there was a lot and lot of proactive and in innovation innovative things in 1375 AD, Abraham Crescus produced world map using Portolan maps. Portolan maps are the early marine maps. Okay, Portolan maps are the early marine maps. When I say marine, ocean water mainly. All right, ocean marine means ocean, really uh, ocean water bodies. So in 1569 AD, Gerardus Mercator publishes his first projection for navigation. Similarly and similarly and so on. You can look at this various points now. In 1884, International Meridian Conference chooses Greenwich, which is in England, as the prime meridian. Slowly and gradually, all this process developed, and in the late 1900s high quality maps produced from aerial and satellite imagery and geographic information systems gis the full form of gis is geographic information system gis also you know a global positioning system gps global positioning system gps was also developed so in this way slowly and gradually from that wall painting up to gps up to late 1900s you know slowly and gradually the uh, you know as we go through this timeline we find how maps are developed and this is all about the early cartography a simple information you know about the early cartography in the next class we'll be seeing we'll be looking at the modern cartography as for now thank you have a great day ahead